Our topic is query expansion through generative adversarial network and search advertising. Imagine the scenario. A user searches koi fish in the search engine. So what kind of keywords of ads that might attract the users tend to click? Koi fish? Yes, definitely, since it exactly matches the user search. How about buy koi fish? Yes, because there's a koi fish in this keyword and which matches the user's query, right? So a little bit tricky one is like Nishikigoi. So what is this? This is actually the Japanese word of koi fish. So yes, it is related, but you might need some effort to figure out that those two actually match. Now, the very tricky one is fish pond supply. You would say, yes, it's very likely. So yes, it's the keyword of ads that might attract the users, but how do you match those two together? You mean, oh, both of them have fish, so they are related. But this isn't very precise, since if someone searched for fish, they might be more interested in seafood rather than fish pond supply. So matching the query keyword is a challenging task. So our solution for this is that instead of trying to, well, going back and forth between query keywords, instead, we try to generate keyword from user's query directly. So in this case, when we see user's query is koi fish, we try to generate fish pound supply. So let's say we have several users searching for koi fish. Now we could have some experiments. First, we show iPhone 8. So the user isn't very satisfied toward this keyword. So we get bad response. How about we show some beautiful fish? Mm, no, 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 no. Well, a yes. So this means that the beautiful fish is actually a well, fine keyword for koi fish. If we show fish pond supply, okay, there are several clicks, several no clicks, okay, more clicks. So it's even more reinforced and we tend to show generate fish pond supply through koi fish more. Now, the problem is that we have infinite queries and sometimes we don't have so many replies from the users or like those data might not be like totally covering all the cases that we want. So what should we do? Human rating is expensive and Turk is sometimes like non-feasible. So instead of using like real users, we replace them with trained machine learning models. So those models could directly respond to our infinite options of query keyword pairs, right? Now, this is very natural in the sense that this is actually generative adversarial network. So our solution is using generative adversarial network, which consists of a generator which is our search engine and the discriminator, which is the trained model, trying to train our generator to ge generate better keywords from query. And for more details, we would be in the oral session and the poster session. Thank you.